After the machine is turned on and the nozzle test is performed, you are ready to print. First, start off by loading a new file by clicking the New File button inside of the QuickBee software. Select the file that we're going to print. In this case, we are going to print the Kid Boo file that we have prepared earlier. Since this Kid Boo file has never been printed before, Quick P automatically opens up the uh, setup window, or this is what's commonly referred to as the rip. Simply position your graphic. This one will be full front chest center. I personally go about 30 millimeters as my Y offset. You can adjust the number of copies here on the first line. Right now we're set up to do 10. I only want one. I always leave my X center unless I'm doing the left chest. And then the width and the height in millimeters of the graph. Now what I've done here is I've actually saved presets. And this is what you'll do after training. But I have my baseline settings for a dark t-shirt. Uh, this will be single white. This will be double white. And then this will be a single white in production mode and that's actually what I'm going to print with right now. This automatically adjusts my spray amount which is set at 69% for my baseline t-shirt, my white print mode which is the next section. It's either none, single, or double. It also has the white highlight which I am not using. My white under light color is set at 90%, and my white under dark color is set at 60%. Everything else is saved in this resolute, in this setup, such as what resolution I'm printing with, what production speed, what color mode, color saturation, the color profile information, rendering intents, uh, if there's a sharpen filter attached to the setup, it will apply that as well. Everything else is saved from the media database that you set up. Once you hit OK, this will process and you are ready to load your shirt and print. While it's prepared, we are ready to print. We are going to load our shirt onto the standard platen. Simply thread the shirt on like you would normally do for a screen printing press. Even it up and pull the center neck seam off the surface of the platen. Grab the magnetic ring. Tuck your shirt in neatly and you are ready to print.
shirt is printed, it needs to be removed from the printer and placed on the dryer belt for cure. Simply lift up the magnetic ring. Pull the shirt off the printer. Simply place your wet shirt on the dryer belt and let it cure. The dryer is set up for 320 degrees for 8 minutes.